what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today i am actually planning out all of my meals that i want to cook this week um and making my grocery list it is actually friday i decided to take the day off live a little bit riley's at school nick's at work so i just really wanted some peace and quiet and i also figured i might as well go food shopping so i don't have to do it tomorrow which is saturday so i'm going to show you guys everything that i'm cooking for the week but i really wanted to share with you guys how i go grocery shopping how i come up with different meals for the week how i save money and all those type of different tips and tricks that personally just work for me and i've been doing for a while now um Usually I will come up with about three recipes, sometimes two, just depending on the week and how busy it is. And what I will do is I will go to Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok now, and I will save different recipes that I like and that I think my family will enjoy. So when I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to cook for the week, those are my go-to. So Pinterest is probably number one, but TikTok has definitely been coming in there as well. So I will figure out which three two or three recipes that I'm gonna make and then I will use this book that I had gotten from Michael's from I want to say like a year or two ago I will link it down below as long as they still are selling it it's really great it's definitely made food shopping so much easier for myself and even for Nick when I send him to the grocery store the way just like the grocery list breaks every single thing out um but once I find the recipe, then what I'll do is I'll read the recipe and all the ingredients list and I will write every single thing down, regardless if I even definitely know that I have it. But sometimes there are things downstairs that I just don't even know if we have. So rather than spending the money to buy some more of it, I will write everything down and then I will go downstairs, check the kitchen, the pantry, all of that kind of stuff and really start checking things off of the list before I head out to the grocery store. But before we get all of that started, let me show you guys what I'm going to be cooking for the week and how this book is all laid out. All right, so here is a better look of the book that I was talking about that I picked up from Michaels a year or two ago, and I absolutely love it. I don't use it all the time. Sometimes I leave it in my car and I'm just too lazy, but when I can, I do like to use this book. And this is the reason why, because I absolutely love the layout. On, le on the left-hand side, it has meals this week, and it lists Monday through Sunday. I never cook seven meals every single week because we do have leftovers. So I like to stick to three or two meals every single week. So I will just write here what meals I picked out from Instagram, TikTok, or um, Pinterest. And then on this side is the grocery list. And I like the fact that it has it um, broken out where you have your vegetables and your fruit. Um, I do sometimes scratch certain things out like this is baking. I wasn't baking this week. So I just scratch that out and put any items that would be in a pantry. The same thing over here. Um, instead of canned, I put deli. And then up here, I also made grains random. Um, for the, you know, random things that I did need to pick up. But what I like most about this is the fact that it is um, categorized because I don't know how many times when I just make a regular list on my phone or on a piece of paper and I don't um, break them out. I will think that I got everything in the produce section and then halfway through I found an item that actually is in the produce section and I have to walk all the way back. So this book has really helped just cut down the time that I'm actually in the grocery store, which I really do appreciate, especially being a busy mom. I just do not have all day to go food shopping. So this is everything that I like to do. So when I pick out my meals, I will literally go through the ingredients list on the recipe and I will write every single thing out. Now, I know this seems a little bit long, but hear me out. So the way to save money is to write all the ingredients out, but then go downstairs, check your pantry, your fridge, your cabinets, all of that kind of stuff, and then start crossing things off of the list. This has also helped me out tremendously with saving money because when I did not check before, I would bring home, you know, spinach or lemon or anything like that. And when I went to go put it away, I saw that I had like two or three lemons that I could have used. So this is why... um writing things down, making sure to shop your home before you go is crucial. So let's go downstairs, check my pantry, the fridge and all that kind of stuff and start checking these things off the list.
Like I mentioned earlier, I'm checking the fridge, the pantry, our cabinets, the seasonings, all of that kind of stuff to see what items I can start checking off the list. And you will honestly be surprised with how much stuff you already have. So it's one less thing that you have to pick up at the grocery store. All right, guys, so I just got to the grocery store. I have my water. I also made myself like a little baggie of pretzels with a little bit of like a snack for me because I have found that when I go grocery shopping, when I am hungry, I always add something to the list or to my cart that I don't need. Um, it's just a guaranteed fail for me. So that is definitely another hack or tip that I suggest to you guys is never go grocery shopping hungry because you will add things to your cart. You're going to rack up your, you know, your bill. You're going to deviate from what you have just done in regards to meal planning and then you know you're just going to feel guilty about it later so eat beforehand bring yourself a snack if you need to um there's actually a lot of people here i'm a little bit surprised but i'm gonna head on in there they have some mums and things like that i don't think i want to get those just yet i think it's a little bit early um but yeah let's go in and go grocery shopping we're not okay Last week when I came grocery shopping, they did not have these gorgeous purple, pinkish type of toned mums. I was so excited. I've never seen them here at ShopRite before. So I'm actually gonna try another farm that has a better deal on mums. And then if I cannot find these purple ones, I will be back to pick them up from ShopRite. Anytime I go food shopping, I always start in the produce section. You can never go wrong with fresh fruits and vegetables and all that stuff, especially if you are trying to live a more healthy lifestyle. And just to give you guys another hack, if you shop the perimeter of the grocery store, that is where you're going to find all of your healthier items, your fresher items. And the more you move towards the center of the store is where you're gonna find a lot of that processed foods that aren't always the best for us. So I do try and shop for the most part around the perimeter of the store. And of course I do have to pick up some items in the middle to restock our pantry. all right so that did not take me too long i tell you guys this book is literally a lifesaver it just makes moving through the grocery store so much easier quicker while i was in there the cost of one of the items for the recipe to me just wasn't budget friendly so i did kind of just like switch things up on the fly um and another item i wasn't able to find but i was able to find a good substitute so i'll show you guys that at home but i'm going to be making ground turkey teriyaki stir fry i've made this before nick absolutely loves it it's super easy to make so i'm gonna make that again spicy chicken poblano risotto that looked really really good and the one that i had to kind of substitute is garlic butter chicken meatball so instead what i'm gonna do is i bought some chicken thighs and i think i'll just like marinate that and that could go into like um on top of like rice or with the vegetable and all that kind of stuff sometimes you literally do just have to you know switch things up a bit um the cost of a small thing of ground chicken was about like four or five dollars and to me i would have needed two to make the meatballs and i just didn't think that that was a good deal so I'm going to head on home um, and unpack all of these groceries, just prep um, so that tomorrow and Sunday will just be a lot smoother when it comes to cooking. All right, guys, so I am back from the grocery store. I'm going to do a quick grocery haul. So I picked up some ground turkey for the ground turkey teriyaki bowls. I 
decided to get some chicken thighs the boneless kind i'm probably gonna make some type of like chicken that we can pair with like rice or anything like that i wanted to pick up another thing of chicken nuggets for riley they weren't on sale that's the reason why i didn't get more than one and then i needed to pick up some more um toothpaste they were buy three for 149 each that was a good deal these were also on sale for $1.99 and Riley really likes these yogurt drinks. So I decided to get those. We always get some string cheese for her. Thankfully, for some reason, only the frozen one is always on sale. So I picked that up for her. Now, I couldn't find Tyson grilled chicken. That's what I needed for the risotto um, recipe. But I found this. It was like rotisserie seasoned um, chicken. So I thought that this would be a good substitute some yellow american cheese to make grilled cheese for riley i picked up two red onions a couple of apples i really like to snack on those during the day when i just want something sweet some green onions <clears throat> some cilantro i'm almost thinking about marinating the chicken so we can do like chicken tacos or anything like that pair it with a rice and we could also throw some cilantro on top of that a uh, poblano pepper for the risotto <clears throat> some broccoli broccoli is one of my favorite vegetables and i did also need it for the teriyaki bowls i made a mistake i'm gonna see if i can return or exchange it i meant to get cooking wine but i grabbed the white wine vinegar by accident <clears throat> some more brown sugar i saw that we were low some strawberries i didn't have that on the list but it was on sale for 3.99 so i decided to pick that up some lettuce for salads spinach for smoothies i also needed to pick up more of these small little cups for the bathroom for mouthwash and all that kind of stuff and then this was also something that i didn't need well i didn't have on my list they had pumpkins and i really thought of riley she enjoyed painting them last year they were two for five however i'm gonna have to, i got one for her and one for me but i saw that this one was bad so maybe i'll see if i can take that back and exchange it for just a better one so both of us can paint this weekend i ended up spending a total of 71 dollars and 36 cents i do try and stay between 50 and 100 dollars, so this was pretty good um hopefully i will be able to exchange this one pumpkin and also the white wine vinegar for cooking wine um i know for the pandemic we really haven't been able to exchange anything at the grocery store but i think that might have passed, but I'll have to see. Now it's time to put all of the groceries away, start restocking all of the things that need to go into the refrigerator. So that's what I'm doing right now. I really try and do my best to put everything away right when I get home. This way things don't go bad. And then I also am going to start to prep those strawberries because if you do not prep them right when you get home, the likelihood that you're going to do it later on is just very slim. If you want your fruits to last a lot longer, put in four cups of water and one cup of distilled white vinegar. Mix that around and throw in all of your fresh fruits. 
I usually let them sit for about 15 minutes or so. I'll rinse them off and then if I have time, I'll lay them out on a towel to let them air dry and then I'll pack them away in the refrigerator. But if I am short on time like I was today, all I'll do is I'll take a couple of napkins, put them in a container, and then throw those into the refrigerator. I have found that this way, our strawberries and fresh fruits last so much longer than if I do not do this. Now that we have all of the groceries put away, it's now time to just tackle this kitchen. It was a little bit of a mess, really not too bad. So I'm going through picking everything up off of the countertops, gonna wipe that down, do a couple of dishes, and then just sweep the floor. Thankfully, there weren't too many dishes that needed to be washed. I really did not cook at all this week. We ordered out a lot, but I'll explain all of that in my next video. But I did end up making an easy chili recipe. The ground turkey that I had was gonna go bad, so I just wanted to throw something easy into the crock pot, and it is literally one of my go-to fall recipes. So I did do a reel on that over on Instagram, so definitely make sure to go check that out in case you guys are interested.
All right, guys, so that is how I meal plan and grocery shop for the week. All of the different tips and tricks that I shared with you guys have definitely helped me over the years save time and money at the grocery store. If you guys have any tips and tricks yourself, definitely make sure to leave them down below. I'm pretty sure we all have different things that we like to do each week to, you know, get food on the table, make life easier, and all of that kind of stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys right back here in a couple days with another video. Bye.